Hi everyone, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi Cindy. Hi, Hi good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Cindy. Good evening, Andrea. All right. Welcome back to your English class, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you. I hope you're safe and sound. We are officially in class 14, so we are just about to finish, all right? Ya estamos oficialmente en la clase 14, así que ya estamos cerca de finalizar el nivel. Just as a matter of a warming for you, please remember to finish the platform. Por ahí vi que mandaron eh, los nombres de quienes ya finalizaron la plataforma. Los felicito, all right, públicamente, because that's, that requires a lot of effort. Yo sé que eso requiere bastante esfuerzo poder ir adelante. And you have done it, right? You still have no grado, so congrats. Now, let's check. Uh, let's get started. Today is Tuesday, May 09th, 2023. Yesterday, we were working with uh, questions that are used with who and with with at the end, right? With with, literalmente si se dice, okay? So let's check if you remember how to pronounce the structure. Let me have Andy. Andy, can you please read the structure? Who, <clears throat> pardon. Who plus do does plus subject plus verb and noun plus quid plus in question mark. Uh -huh. Excelente. Solo que es plus, Andy, all right? Plus es como lo diríamos en español cuando lo leemos, pero en inglés es plus. Ok. Perfect. Thank you. Now, eh, I'm going to let this structure over here. Voy a dejar esta estructura por si alguien no la copió ayer. Or do you have it, Cindy? Yes. Ok, perfect. Awesome. Now, let's check the guiding examples. Let me listen to... Oscar, please. Example number one, number two, and number three. <clears throat> okay. Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? And with whom does Juan play? Excellent. Thank you. All right. Solo denme un segundito. Voy a contestar los mensajes que han enviado sus compañeros al chat box. All right, so let's check. Let's see the practice time. Yesterday we were practicing with these questions and we worked them, all right? Las trabajamos, pero no recuerdo si me las dijeron. Guadalupe, please refresh my mind, refresqueme la memoria, please. Me las dijeron. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Bye. Ah, pues, we're that we're good to go. Let's move on with pronunciation of can and can't. Now, something that you highly need to know is that we use can or can't whenever you are talking about ability. All right. Things that you can do, things that you cannot do. We are going to go to the platform and we are going to check the video that we have on this section. So let me just look for it. So yo voy a buscar el video de la, de la sección. Okay. I'm gonna share it with you, so let's pay attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. 
this is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Okay, now let's move on to the platform and let's check the different pronunciation that we have on this one. We have the conversation. <clears throat> and I'm gonna share with you once again the video so that you can see the pronunciation. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Notice that they don't say at all. Noten que ellos no hacen pausa, no dicen at all. Ellos dicen at all, at all. That's the American English, and that's the one that we are using. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related Okay, now let's move on to the to the PowerPoint so that we can practice because this is your time. Okay, so here we go. I can't sing. We have Kayla and Philip. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, <clears throat> let's go with you. Vamos con ustedes. Voy a necesitar una Kayla y un Philip. All right, do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios. Okay, perfect, Cindy. You are Kayla. I need a Philip. 
It could be, okay, excellent, Oscar, action. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Your microphone, Oscar. Oh, sorry. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, both of you. That was good, right? Improving as per usual, that's great. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Wendy Lopez. You are Kayla. Veamos si tengo a alguien disponible para pasar. Vaya, Walter está ocupado, Alicia está ocupada. Okay, Wendy Lopez, ustedes Kayla y Jancy de Odanes. You are Philip. Action. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What the, What can I do? You can see really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let, let's practice tomorrow. Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Bye, I'm in. Vi que en el grupo de WhatsApp uh, alguien me había puesto que no iba a poder participar porque estaba enfermo, pero que sí se iba a conectar. No puedo ver quién es esa persona, no puedo ver el nombre de esa persona, no tiene foto de perfil. Así que a mí solo me aparece alguien Luna. All right, pero no sé quién es Luna aquí, no lo conozco. I don't know who she is or who he is. All right, entonces, eh, si gustan, me mandé un mensaje, porque sí me dijeron, según entendí, se van a conectar para escuchar, más no van a participar. Así que me envían un mensaje por el chat box de Zoom para reconocer quién es, porque si no, yo sin saber quién es Luna, puedo decirles, ay, participe y usted enferma, all right, so let me know, please. So let's check. Ah, okay, perfect, Isabel. Thank you. Okay, I hope you get better. Espero que se recupere. Now let's go with the next one. Let me have Andrea. Andrea, you are Kayla. Eh, Guadalupe, you are Philip. Action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can you can see really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can sing a lot, but but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Perfect, excellent, very good job. Good one, Lupe, intonation, fluency, and everything. But Andrea, you have improved a lot. Andrea, mejorado muchísimo con su entonación, all right? La sentía como que bien contenta doing the conversation, y eso es bueno porque me lo transmite a mí, all right? No porque ser el teacher significa que toda la vida eh, voy a andar contenta así por así, pero cuando los escucho a ustedes que hacen un excelente trabajo, sí me ponen más contenta, all right? So very good, Andy. Congrats. La felicito for that rhythm. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Wendy Arevalo. Please, you are Kayla. Usted va a ser Kayla y Cristian Giovanni. You are Philip. Action. Oh. Se le apagó el micrófono, Wendy. Okay. Oh, look, there a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. 
Perdón, Ay, Cristian, antes qué... de que vaya usted, Wendy, ¿puede repetir de nuevo la oración? Ok. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Perfect. Uh, I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no, I can sing a lot at all, <laughs> but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter this contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, both of you. That was good, all right? Great job, uh, Jasmine, improving as per usual. Christian, same thing with your pronunciation, all right? Sometimes I feel you like you are struggling with participating, but you did awesome, very good. Now, I feel that I'm not missing anyone else from here. Eh, creo que no me hace falta nadie más de aquí. Ya todos participaron. So, let's move on. We have can for ability. All right. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. All right. Con la primera columna, let's listen, Oscar, please. Action. Okay. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let's listen to Jancy de Odanes. First column, please. Primera columna siempre. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can sing as well. <clears throat> Perdón, as all. Um, we can sing at all. They can sing at all. All right, eh, Jansi, ¿no siente que se le hace más fácil decir at all? <laughs> at all. Ajá, yes. Entonces, utilicemos esa forma, Jancy, porque esa es la correcta, at all. Ok. Very good, sí. thank you. Y escucho que está un poquito malita de la garganta, espero que se recupere, right? Sí, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't worry. Sí, miren, te han cuidado bastante ahorita, porque si ustedes recuerdan al principio del curso, yo, no, yo tenía una tos que no me paraba y casi muero aquí. Pero, <ríe> all right, but you need to be careful, pero sí tienen que tener mucho cuidado, porque esas tos, esas coughs, sí duran, Jesus. All right, so let's go with the next one. Vamos con la segunda columna. Tenemos questions and answers. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Ay, voy a sacar mi varita mágica. Sin ella me siento, no tengo nada. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Okay, let me listen to Guadalupe. You ask. Usted pregunta, Guadalupe. And Wendy Lopez, you answer. Usted contesta, Miss Lopez. De acuerdo a la pregunta de Guadalupe, así contesta usted. Action. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Uh, yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Wendy Arevalo. Uh, you answer, usted contesta, Wendy Arevalo. Y Cindy, you ask. Action. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Uh, 
porque não é aí sim. Wendy, seu microfone. Ok, maybe it's not working, Cindy, don't worry. Vamos a pasar con Andrea, entonces, all right? Andrea, you answer. Usted contesta. Let's start again, Cindy, please. Can you see? I... <laughs> yes, I can, Andy. Ok, es que esta había salido un momento. Ok. Yeah. Yes, I can. Can I see? Yes, you can. Can he see? Yes, he can. Can she see? Yes, no, she can. Can we see? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, both of you. All right, let's go with Christian. You are in there. And let me check. Who else are we missing? Bueno, creo que solo usted falta, Christian. So let's practice. Voy a practicar con usted. Eh, usted pregunta, yo contesto, ¿ok? Ok. Eh, can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Vaya, permítame, Cristian, que se me acaba de descargar la computer. Solo le voy a poner el cargador, ¿ok? I'll be right back. Ok, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's continue, Christian. Uh, with number two. Uh, can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Very good, Christian. Okay. Thank you. Good. Now... Shall we move on? Guiding a structure. We have the guiding a structure with can or can't. Teacher, porque es una sola estructura para ambos. No hay que complicarnos mucho para saber que si usted quiere hacer la, la oración en negativo, solo le va a agregar can't. All right? Todo lo demás no va a cambiar. So let me listen to Cindy, please. Can you read the structure? Subject. Plus can or can't, plus verb, plus complement. Perfect, thank you. All right, everyone, let's copy this on your notebooks. Okay, let's move on with the following. Guiding examples. Let me listen to Wendy Lopez, please. Number one and number two. My father can sing very well. They can't dance. 
very good. Thank you. Let me listen to. Veamos quién más está. Ah, uh, Guadalupe, number three and number four. Number three. I can swim and dance, but I can sing. Number four. Patty can speak English, but she can't speak French. Perfect. Solo aquí quiero eh, hacer algo, right? Aquí tendría que ser en negativo. Ok, can't, porque estoy utilizando el pero. Significa que hay una cosa que no puedo hacer. Very good. Thank you, Guadalupe. All right, so, but I can't sing. Based on this, I want you to create um, three sentences, all right? Tres oraciones, ok? And make them clear. Hagamos las claras, por favor, all right? For example, I can take the bus in the morning, but no. I can run in the morning because I have energy, but I cannot walk in the afternoon because I'm lacking of energy, all right? Ustedes están utilizando todavía el simple present, así que peguémonos al simple present para crear las three sentences. Si gustan, primero hagan una de lo que sí pueden hacer, luego en el número dos lo que no pueden hacer, y la tercera que vaya mezclada entre lo que sí y no pueden hacer.
All right. Thank you so much, Paula. Ya voy a chequear sus sentences. En el caso de, los, de las otras dos personas que también solamente están escuchando la clase, sí les recomiendo que me envíen sus oraciones, all right? Porque están escuchando, entonces sí saben cómo trabajarlo. Eh, me las envían para que quede de evidencia de que, quieras o no, sí participaron un poquito en la clase. Very good, Paula. Vamos a leer, dice, I can cook. I can cook your... You baby, I can cook you baby. What do you mean with that? All right. Um, context. I can't study at the university. Yes. My mom can make flowers. No veo esto. But she can sell them. Sí, la número dos y la número tres están correctas, Paula. All right. Solo la primera eh, le hace falta contexto. I can cook you, baby, es como, yo puedo cocinarte, bebé, all right? Entonces, no sé si, si quiere cocinar a la persona o es que puede cocinarle a su querido, all right? So, just, just something to see in context. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Paula. It is correct, don't worry. It was funny, though, okay? Now, let's listen to the rest. ¿Ya finalizaron los demás? I don't have water. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Let me listen to Oscar because you have your microphone open. <laughs> okay. My mom, my mom can cook like a chef, but she can't prepare desserts. Oh. I can play the guitar, but I can't play the piano. Mm -hmm. My dad can play soccer, but he can't dance. Very good, excellent, thank you. That's correct, Oscar, well written. All right, thank muy you. bien escrito. Vaya, solo, no, Cristian, usted sí puede participar, all right? No las envíe por acá. Now, listen, everyone. Eh, notarán algo que sucede con el as can. Usualmente en third person singular, en la tercera persona singular, en el simple present, hacemos uso de una regla gramatical que nos dice que el verbo se le va a agregar S, all right? Puede ser S, puede ser IES, puede ser IES, depende del verbo. Pero cuando usted utiliza los auxiliary verbs como el do, el does, el can, or can't, usted no hace uso de eh, la S en el verb, por ende es más sencillo, all right? Let's go with Guadalupe. Let me listen to your examples. Number one, my daughter can draw with watercolors very well. Number two, my husband can't play soccer. Number three, I can swim in the pool, but I can't swim in the lake. Okay, perfect, excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Andrea, please. Okay. My brother can't wake up at 6 a.m. My boyfriend can speak English much better than me. I can draw and find it's my favorite hobby. All right, very good, Andy. Excellent, thank you. Uh, let me listen to Christian, please. Read your sentences. Okay, uh, I can swim me very well. Uh, I can uh, play the piano. I can go to the store. All right. Uh, yes, that's correct. Solo que la tercera era mezclada, Cristian. Algo que usted puede hacer versus algo que usted no puede hacer. O que su mamá o su papá o su amiga o su amigo o su gato o su gata pueda o no pueda hacer. Right? So, there you go. That's what happens. La tercera es mezclada. Uh, the rest is correct. Todas las demás están correctas. Let's go with Miguel. Action, Miguel. Um, creo que no, no, no cumplo con los requisitos, teacher, pero aquí, esta fue la que escribí. I can cook because my mom can too. She teach me. Uh, olvidé el pasado de teach. Taught. Eh, she taught me. She taught me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and another uh, sentence. I can't swim. I can only make bubbles underwater. 
All right. Is that true, Miguel? Yeah, I, that's true. All the oh, truth. <laughs> Okay, I need, I need to learn. I need to learn. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. There's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Very okay. good, Miguel. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Walter. Vamos a ver, Cindy. Solo leo la de Walter y después va usted, Cindy. I can play tennis. You can play football as a professional player. Very good. Vamos a ver qué más envió. Sí, Paula, el verbo en la tercera persona ya no tendría la S porque estamos utilizando el auxiliary verb. All right? Ya estamos utilizando los auxiliares y los auxiliares se encargan de todo. Right? Very good. Let's listen to Cindy, please. Action. I can play basketball because I love it. I can't draw because I don't have patience. Uh, my family says that I can cook because I like to invent with the same ingredients that I have, but I can't make, make cakes. Very good, Cindy. Cindy, do you actually play basketball? Yes. I'm pretty good too. <laughs> Very good, Cindy, <laughs> excellent. That's great. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let me check. Vamos a ver qué mensaje tenemos aquí. Ah, veamos. Alison dice, I can play football. I can't swim. I can cook soup, but I can't cook pizza. Mm -hmm. That happens, all right? Very good. At least you know how to cook. Al menos si sabe cocinar. I can't. Let's go with the next one. Let me have... Ya pasó. Paula, Walter, Alison. What about Wendy Arevalo? Action, Wendy. I can cook for the dinner. I cannot go running in the morning. I can do cleaning, but I can order books. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And let me listen to. Wendy Lopez. Action, Wendy. Um, my sister can't drive. My mother can cook very well. And I can't study in the morning, but I can study in the afternoon uh, because I get up at 10 a.m. Very good, excellent. Thank you, that's great. Is it true, Wendy? Do you wake up at 10 a.m.? Sometimes. <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> How old are you, Wendy? You 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 look pretty young. ¿Cuántos años tiene, Wendy? 21. Yeah, you look pretty young. You are young. <laughs> Sita, Sita, very good. Okay, let's check. Guiding a structure for questions with Ken. Ahora vamos a las preguntas. Oscar, do me the favor, please read the structure. Ken plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question. Mm -hmm. Question mark. That's correct. Thank you. Now, everyone, let's copy this structure on your notebooks. Copiemos esta estructura, por favor, para que sepamos cómo trabajarla.
Okay, let's move on. Guiding examples. Let me listen to... <clears throat> Christian, Giovanni, please, example number one, two, and three. Hey, guiding example. Can you perform at the party? Can you jump like uh, can Marcos like uh, can Marcos run fast? Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right. Entonces, can you perform at the party? Puedes um, perform, ¿cómo se traduce directamente? Actuar. All right. Can you perform at the party? Cuando decimos actuar, no, no nos referimos a la actuación en sí, sino nos referimos a si va a cantar, a bailar, all right, a contar chistes. Eso es una perform, una presentación. All right. Can you jump high? Puedes saltar alto. Can Marcos run fast? Puede Marcos correr rápido? All right. So now let's move on to the following practice time. Bye. Aquí ya no vamos a crear esto. Not anymore. Pero sí vamos a create four questions. All right. Four questions. Procuren, procuren que sus preguntas sean como open questions. All right. Como preguntas abiertas quizás hasta cierto punto porque las van a hacer entre ustedes mismos y van a responderlas. For example, supongamos que Guadalupe le pregunta a Wendy López, Wendy, can you, um, can you run fast? All right. Wendy tiene que decir, no, I can't. Yes, I can't. All right. So let's work with that, please.
Let me know whenever you're finished. Have you finished, Megan? Or do you have a question? Yes, teacher. I, I hope. I hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let me read it. Vamos a esperar un minuto más, eh, okay. Miguel, a que finalicen su compañero para que todos estemos set solo para responder, ¿ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, let's get started. Now, let me see. We are going to start with Wendy Lopez. Wendy Lopez, select someone who is going to work with you. Seleccione a alguien que va a trabajar con usted, right? Tenemos a Miguel, tenemos Oscar, Cristian, Guadalupe, Cindy, Wendy Arevalo, Jancy. Ya me los memoricé a todos. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy Arevalo. All right. Very good. Okay, you may start. Action, girls. Usted pregunta, Miss López, Miss Arevalo, you answer. Action. You can play football? En pregunta, no, I cannot. Wendy, en pregunta, porque ahí me le está dando afirmación. You can play football. Ah, are you, sorry. Are you can play football? Veamos la estructura, Wendy. Uy. Can you? I saw, uh, uh, can you, ay, uh, perdón, perdón. Don't worry. Ay, ya me había confundido. No se preocupe, no se preocupe. You can play football? Wait, can, can you play football? <laughs> no, I cannot. Very good. Uh, can you go swimming? Mm, yes, a little. All right, can you go swimming? Yes, I can. All right? I can. Ahí sí se va no importa. Okay, don't worry. Uh -huh. Let's continue. Uh, can you cook? Yes, I can. Can you draw? No, I cannot. Very good, excellent. Ahora usted le pregunta a Miss Arevalo. Can you dance? Yes, I can. Can you run fast? Mm, no, I can't. Can you cook pastas? Yes, I can. Can you drink beers? A chiquita. <laughs> very good. Just questions, Miss Arevalo, please. All right, very good. ¿Cómo? Can you drink beers? Drink? Drink, uh-huh. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, very yes, good. Excellent. Great job. No está tan chiquita. <laughs> For what I've seen. 
pues ya, ya lo veo, ya lo veo, right? Uno del tripote, ¿cómo se equivocaba? <laughs> Very good. Let's go with the next one. Teacher. Uh, ¿Ah? Teacher. La, yes, las, las, las questions que teníamos que hacer eran para contestar con sí in, o no. Sí, sí, es que todas las que comienzan con el can solo se contestan yes or no. Como veíamos aquí. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Pero también a veces podemos meter, Andrea, por ejemplo, aquí si notan, ellos agregan un poquito más de información. All right. What can you do? Pero esas cuando ya son con WH y esa estructura todavía no la hemos visto. Right. Ahorita solo estamos con la yes or no. Okay, very good. Let's go with Cindy. Select someone. Selecciona a alguien, Cindy. Guadalupe. Ay, I don't know. I imagine that. Action. Uh, first. Yes, you go first. Okay. Guadalupe, can you drink coffee at night and sleep deeply all night? No, no, I can't. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, can you sleep with the light on? Excuse me, with the light? Can you sleep with the light on? No, I can't. And can you dance yeah, no. salsa? Can you dance salsa? Yes, I can. Can you show me? Pensen <laughs> 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 Twister in Spanish? Ah. Tongue okay. Twister. No, I un tongue twister. What is the meaning twister? Es un, el tongue twister es una, un trabalengua. En inglés se dice tongue twister. Ah, oh, tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. A ver, veamos el de la ice cream. <laughs> okay, Cindy, can you cook cookies? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, um, can you read history books? Yes, I can. Um, can you watch TV on weekends? Yes, I can. I love it. <laughs> and can you go at the supermarket tomorrow? No, I can't. Right. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow many people is going to be celebrating. So you better not go out, all right? Very good, everyone. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Great job. It was actually sounding like it was a conversation, all right? Very good. Now, before we leave, I just want to let you know some things you, that you must know. No todos han participado ahorita, sin embargo, lo van a hacer. Voy a dejar anotados ahorita en mi, en mi cell phone quiénes son los que han participado so far. Solo han pasado with las dos Wendy's. All right, le voy a poner Wendy's en plural. And looks um, Cindy and Guadalupe. All right, para la próxima clase me queda Oscar, me queda Jancy, me queda Allison, Christian, Miguel, um, Jose y Paula. Tal vez ya se encuentre un poquito mejorcita para el jueves. All right, my dear students, that was pretty much it for today's class. Eso ha sido básicamente la clase de este día. Rest in peace. Descansen en paz, all right? Eh, si pueden, trabajen en la plataforma, ¿ok? Trabajemos en la plataforma. Reitero lo que dije al principio de la clase. Felicito 
All right. Aquí en el grupo, ante el público, <ríe> felicito a los que ya finalizaron la plataforma. Sé que algunos no aparecen ahí, ya la finalizaron, so don't worry. There's a register for all that. And congrats. All right. So I'll see you on Thursday. Take care. Bye. See ya, see ya. Good night. Thank you. Have a Good great night. night. Happy Thank Mother's you. Day tomorrow for your moms. <laughs> <laughs>